Christopher Alvin Stapleton is an American singer-songwriter, guitarist, and record producer. In 2001, Stapleton moved to Nashville, Tennessee to pursue an engineering degree from Vanderbilt University, but dropped out to pursue his career in music. Subsequently, Stapleton signed a contract with C. Gale Music to write and publish his music. As of 2018, Stapleton has amassed credits writing or co-writing over 170 songs. He has co-written six number one country songs, including Kenny Chesney's Five Week Number One, Never Wanted Nothing More, Josh Turner's You're a Man, George Strait's Love's Gonna Make It All Right, and Luke Bryan's Drink a Beer. His songs have appeared on many artist albums, including Adele, Kelly Clarkson, Brad Paisley, Dirk Bentley, and Taylor Swift. He has also co-written with several artists as well, including Ben Skill, Peter Frampton, Sheryl Crow, and Ed Sheeran. Come with us as we explore the life and amazing career of this iconic songwriter and artist. Before we begin, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss a single one of our upcoming videos. Chris Stapleton was born in Lexington, Kentucky on April 15, 1978. His mother, Carol J. May Stapleton, worked at the local health department, and his father, Herbert Joseph Stapleton Jr., was a coal miner. He has an older brother, Herbert Joseph III, and a younger sister, Melanie Brooke. Stapleton grew up in the small town of Stratfordsville, Kentucky, which is located just outside of Paintsville. He graduated from Johnson Central High School, where he played football and was his class salutatorian. He then attended Vanderbilt University, where he studied engineering, but dropped out after a year. Now, in 2001, Stapleton moved to Nashville, Tennessee to pursue a music career. As a songwriter, he signed with the publishing house C. Gale Music, a deal he got shortly after moving to Nashville. In 2007, he became the frontman for the bluegrass group The Steel Drivers. They had two hit records, each peaked at number two on the bluegrass chart before Stapleton left in 2010. Also in 2010, Stapleton founded a southern rock band called the Johnson Brothers. The band was made up of Stapleton on vocals, Greg McGee on guitar, J.T. Cure on bass, and Bard McNamee on drums. They toured regionally until 2013, and at one point opened for the Zac Brown Band. The band independently released a self-titled album in November of 2010. In 2013, Stapleton signed to Mercury Nashville, a division of Universal Music Group Nashville, as a solo artist. His first single, What Are You Listening To?, was released in October of 2013, but did not perform as expected. The single was part of a record that was recorded but never released. Now, songs written by Stapleton have been included on the soundtracks of several featured films, including Valentine's Day, Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Road Chip, and Hell or High Water. In 2013, Stapleton and his wife Morgan sang the Waylon Jennings song Amanda live at the Grand Old Opera. They also did an NPR Tiny Desk concert in November of 2015. At the 2014 CMT Artist of the Year event, Stapleton performed with Lady A, who played Stapleton's song Drink a Beer, which Luke Bryan had recorded, in honor of Bryan, who was unable to attend the ceremony due to a death in his family. Now, Stapleton had previously sung it during Brian's 2013 CMA Award performance of the same song. Now, Stapleton's debut solo album, Traveler, was released on May 5, 2015. Recorded in Nashville's RCA Studio A, Stapleton co-produced the album with producer Dave Cobb. On the album, he plays guitar and sings with a live band that is made up of bass player J.T. Cure, from the Johnson Brothers, pedal steel player Robbie Turner, drummer Derek Mixon, Mickey Raphael on harmonica, and wife Morgan Stapleton singing harmonies. Stapleton said he composed the title track Traveler as he and his wife were driving through New Mexico on their way back to Nashville in a 1979 Jeep that was bought for him after his father died in 2013, which they had flown to Phoenix, Arizona to take possession of. His wife helped him to sift through 15 years worth of songs to pick nine songs to start recording with. Stapleton won three awards at the 2015 
Country Music Association Awards, Album of the Year, Male Vocalist of the Year, and New Artist of the Year. At the CMA Awards, Stapleton performed with Justin Timberlake. His version of the song popularized as a David Allen Coe live show staple, Tennessee Whiskey, and Timberlake's Drink You Away. Considered a career-defining moment by music publications, the performance along with his wins that night lifted him to national prominence. In December 2015, Stapleton received the 2015 CMT Artist of the Year Breakout Award during a live performance at the annual CMT Artist of the Year show. Now, Traveler was nominated for the Grammy Award for Album of the Year and won the category's Best Country Album and Best Country Solo Performance. It also won the Academy of Country Music Award for Album of the Year. The top-selling country album of 2016, it had sold a total of 2 million copies domestically as of July 2017. In 2016, Stapleton, along with his wife Morgan, contributed the track You Are My Sunshine to producer Dave Cobb's compilation record project, Southern Family. He collaborated with Jake Owen on the song, If He Ain't Gonna Love You, on Owen's album, American Love. Stapleton performed on the main stage at the 2016 Country to Country Festival in Europe, along with Andrew Combs, Casey Musgraves, and headliner Eric Church. Now, Stapleton was the musical guest on the Saturday Night Live episode, which aired January 16, 2016 alongside host Adam Driver. He performed Parachute and Nobody to Blame from Traveler. Now it was in January of 2016, Stapleton performed Either Way, a song he wrote with Kendall Marvel and Tim James at the Country Radio Hall of Fame's Country Radio Seminar in Nashville. It was previously recorded by Leanne Womack for her 2008 album, Call Me Crazy. The track would be featured on his second studio album, From a Room, Volume 1. Released on May 5, 2017, Volume 1 takes its name from Nashville's RCA Studio A, where it was recorded during the winter of 2016-2017, the same month he embarked on his All-American Road Show Tour. Volume 1 was certified gold in the U.S. the next month, eventually giving Stapleton his second CMA for Album of the Year and became the best-selling country album of the year. His third studio album, from a Room, Volume 2, was released on December 1, 2017. Both albums, Volume 1 and Volume 2, debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200 chart. Stapleton was the musical guest on Saturday Night Live for a second time on January 27, 2018, where he performed songs from From a Room, Volume 2, with Sturgill Simpson. In March, Broken Halos, off From a Room, Volume 1, reached the top of the country airplay chart. It earned him the accolades for Song and Single of the Year at the 52nd CMAs, while he won Male Vocalist of the Year for the fourth time. On August 28, 2020, Stapleton released a single titled Starting Over, a song he previously performed on tour. It is the lead single from his album of the same name and marks his first single since 2018's Millionaire. He then released a second single, Cold, on September 25, 2020, to further promote the project. He went on to win Male Vocalist of the Year for the fourth time at the 2021 Country Music Association Awards and Male Artist of the Year for the third time at the 2022 Academy of Country Music Awards. Now, Stapleton co-wrote three songs for Justin Timberlake's studio album, Man of the Woods, which was released in 2018, including their collaboration, Say Something which reached the top 10 list on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 chart. In the same year, Stapleton also recorded a cover of I Want Love for Restoration, reimagining the songs of Elton John and Bernie Taupin. On April 28, 2019, Stapleton appeared as an extra in The Long Night, the third episode of the eighth season of the HBO series Game of Thrones. Over the course of 2019 and 2020, Stapleton recorded and wrote songs with Mike Campbell, formerly the guitarist of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, who is now working with his solo project, The Dirty Knobs. On August 5, 2021, Stapleton was announced to appear as a featured artist on Taylor Swift's second re-recorded album, Red, Taylor's Version, on the track, I Bet You Think About Me. Stapleton contributed a cover of the 
Metallica song, Nothing Else Matters, to the charity tribute album, The Metallica Blacklist, released in September of 2021. He also appears as a credit vocalist on Adele's album, 30, appearing on an alternate version of Easy On Me. Stapleton collaborated with Rage Against the Machine and Autoslave guitarist Tom Morello in both the writing and performance of the track, The War Inside, on Morello's 2021 album, The Atlas Underground Fire. Stapleton's musical influences range from outlaw country and bluegrass to rock and roll and blues. Editors from NPR and Pace Magazine describe his sound as a blend of country, classic rock, and southern soul. Stapleton has cited Charles, Otis Redding, and Freddie King as some of his musical influences, along with Kentucky-based country artists Keith Whitley, Dwight Yoakam, and Patti Loveless. Those names are just part of life in Kentucky. You can't help but be aware of them and be influenced by them, Stapleton is quoted as saying. Chris Stapleton is married to singer-songwriter Morgan Stapleton, who co-wrote Carrie Underwood's 2006 single, Don't Forget to Remember Me. She had a recording deal with Arista Nashville. The couple met when they were working at adjacent publishing houses and married in 2007 and live in Nashville. Okay, that's the end of our video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you like this type of video and want us to keep producing them, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching.